Okay, today we're going to be making a basic website design. Now, this is more of a personal kind of website slash portfolio. This is just going to be a really basic design kind of to let you get the idea of how we use Photoshop to make websites. Okay, so go ahead and make a new document. Now, you want to make the width about a thousand pixels by... 700 pixels okay so now you want to fill your background with a darker gray not all the way black but mostly kind of around this area okay so now make a new layer and now we're gonna make our basic um, template structure Okay, so go ahead and select the rectangular marquee tool and make your selection. Okay, now make sure you make a new layer and now we want to fill that uh, selection with kind of not all the way white, just light gray. Okay, now we have our basic template structure. Okay now you wanna double click that and by the way we're at 66 percent we're not zoomed in all the way yet so don't get the assumption that this is how big our design is actually gonna be okay so let's zoom in now and you wanna set a drop shadow on your structure at about zero distance um... let's do 85 opacity and about a six size okay so here we have our basic structure now let's go ahead and organize um, our layers now you want to make sure when you're when you're making a website you want to keep your design organized um, because it, it makes it a lot easier in the future okay so just make a new group and name that as background now you wanna drag both of our layers in there now we're gonna go on to the navigation bar so go ahead and make a new group again and name that navigation bar navigation bar okay now go back to your original template structure and go to select load selection now as you can see that loaded um, the selection of our basic structure now you want to go to select transform selection now this is the selection we're making for our navigational bar okay so let's do something like that okay now you wanna move your or just go to select modify contract now this will make our selection uh, smaller so let's contract it by five pixels okay now, as you can see you now go back to your navigational bar uh, group and make a new layer now fill that layer with I'm gonna do a blue you can do really any color you choose or actually let's do an orange orange seems a lot better okay now fill that with your orange selection okay so now you wanna double click which you just filled and you wanna make sure you, uh, you made a yeah obviously you did okay so double click the selection you just filled and go to gradient overlay now you want to set the blend mode on overlay and the opacity at about let's say 35 percent now you can play around with it and just kind of get a better effect actually I'm gonna go ahead and make the navigational bar a little bit bigger like so okay now let's go ahead and 
do the text for the navigational bar. So we'll do home, um, make it a little bit bigger. Now try to use a basic font, don't go too crazy. Um, let's do 22. Okay. Um, let me see what kind of fonts we got here. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just use Aller. It's a basic font I like to use a lot of the time. Now you could reduce the spacing between the words by clicking this button right here. And we're going to do that. We're actually going to reduce it by about um, 20, minus 25. Let's see. Okay. Let's do minus 50. Okay. Now, let's add the rest of our links. Now, you want to try and space out um, the links by the, the same amount of space. So, I usually just make uh, about 5, 10 spaces and copy them. And then <clears throat> write my links. So we'll do about us. Oh. Or we'll do about services um, portfolio <clears throat> and contact. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add, add uh, some more space. Even it out. Okay. Maybe a couple, two more. Okay. Now, double click your uh, text and go to drop shadow. We're kind of going to add a little depth to the text. So, we'll do um, the size at zero and the distance at one. And then lower the opacity. A little bit. Okay. Now, why don't we go ahead and divide uh, the button, so to speak? Uh, actually, to do that, I might have to yeah reduce our space a little bit kind of move the text back so it's about half a space at the end oh. okay. okay so that's pretty good now you want to make a new layer and select your pencil tool now make a selection or make a, a line hold on in your navigational bar now you can hold shift to keep your line straight okay now you want to duplicate that by pressing control J and double clicking it and setting a color overlay on that at a black okay now see we might have a little extra oh might have a little extra space extra line here okay so we'll delete that okay oh so now now you want to lower the opacity on the white and black lines okay pretty basic you kinda wanna make it look like so there's an indent in the bar okay
kind of try to get the perfect opacity between both of the lines. Okay, maybe a little bit. 11. So I think 11 is pretty good. So make a new group and drag both of your, uh, your lines in there. Now duplicate that group and make it so each each button is uh, is its own button okay and you kind of kind of uh, make it so each button is even sometimes you might not get it perfectly so you gotta play around a little bit okay so move on uh, part two of this tutorial